What's up guys? Void here and today we're gonna be pretty much learning how to combo a hero. This character doesn't have too many combos but the few stuff that he does have is like you want to maximize your damage output when you play him. Sometimes it might be RNG, other times you just want to be super consistent so let's get started. One thing to note, uh, training room has a added like combo meter system where combos are pretty accurate now so if you get something and you think it doesn't combo or does combo generally you can just look at the combo meter for his throw combos the main things you can get is if you do down throw and they don't di like hard away you can get like an up air but that's about the extent of down throw people can di away so you just got to be aware if your opponent di's away can also get down throw side B at like incredibly early percents if your opponent's big enough. The main throw combo will be up throw Nair. As Nair just starts above you pretty fast and it'll just end up doing more than up throw up air. This doesn't work for too long but it's still a really nice trap if your opponent's trying to get out of it. Like Nair's, Nair's just super solid if your opponent's already above you. Again, you can also do like up throw up air, but Nair will do more damage. Just pick whichever one you want. Now this character's aerials can feel pretty slow, but you can still combo like a fair amount off of it. A good example would be like fair and a grab. Now, while with that you have to have like a really close fair since the grab doesn't have that much range. You can do easier stuff like fair and a jab, which is significantly easier, or like fair F tilt. Fair F tilt is your best bet, but F tilt a little slower than jab, so you have to be like super close to the ground to get it. There we go. Other stuff you can do is like landing Nair into jab. Landing Nair into jab is probably like one of the better ones. Jab is like one of the best anti airs this character has. Surprisingly, like the move is just super solid. When it starts getting to like more mid percents, you can still do like Nair hit confirms as Nair to jab can still work. Your opponent just goes flying a little farther. Might be a little harder to hit confirm, but you can also do like Nair to Nair. You can still do stuff off fair as, as fair can just put you in like a really good situation just in general. His grounded burst options aren't the best though, since you know you don't really have like a really good dash attack. So just pick your pick whichever move you kinda wanna use in neutral, you know, work from there. Just mid percents, early percents, try not to combo into back air. Back air doesn't really work too well, it's a little too slow. But when it comes to combos, you can actually do a lot of stuff out of up air. Up air is probably hero's best combo move as this move has incredibly low lag. Not too big of a hitbox, but throwing it out, if you hit it, there's a lot of things you can go into. Good example would be up air up smash. If you hit a crit with this, you can kill somebody around, let's say 25%, probably his scariest combo. You can also get up air F smash, but it's a little, it's a little more strict. You need to be at a lot earlier percents. But in general, you just get really good damage, you know? Like that does 40, up air F smash would do like 28, no crit. That'll do about 50 if you happen to get the crit. Now going for F smash at the earlier percents, maybe until let's say 25, would be really optimal since if you happen to get the crit, It'll do more damage, but it doesn't work as late as up air up smash. Up air up smash right there, killing at 25. Probably one of the best options you can go for. Whether you get the crit or not, it'll still do a good amount of damage. And it's pretty much it's a big part of this guy's kit. One more thing you can do off falling up air is you can do falling up air into down air for a spike off the side. Another move that's really good for comboing is down air. Down air, surprisingly, has a lot of stun on it. Like, just look how long it takes for this guy to go back to idle. And if I would shield with both characters, you can kind of see the blue hero definitely acted like a good amount sooner before the opponent hero. 
So don't be afraid to go for downer stuff at like earlier percents. As again, downer just has a lot of shield sun. It's kind of slow, but if you happen to get it, things will work out really well in your favor. It'll start working significantly better around the percents where it starts popping up. As you can get downer up smash, downer up tilt. The works, the works. Now again, just like with the up air setup, if you happen to get down or up smash and it crits, you'll just take the stock from your opponent super early. Very worth going for. If you happen to get the move, there's almost no risk trying to go for it. The only risk is missing the up smash, you know. Also around these mid percents, falling up air is still a very strong combo starter as you can kind of still do up air into imagination. But the biggest one is getting up air into fireball, actually. As if you get that anywhere near the ledge, maybe, maybe even closer to here, your opponent's just, they're gonna lose your stock. So a big thing with this character, he has very many options to kill you very early. So make sure to understand these hit confirms and try to use them to the best of your abilities. But that's not all, that's not all. Again, he still works very solid at hypersense if you want to do confirms off of up air. As up air kind of never stops being a combo move for this character. So if you can get really good at landing falling up airs, you can actually turn this character into a combo fiend. And it's awesome. I, I personally like it. And the final thing is what you guys may or may not know, it's the Gimmer. So the Gimmer is edge guarding a character with a lower recovery with Kaswoosh and kind of using the fact that you snap to combo off of your Kaswoosh. And that's a great example right there. Now if you don't happen to have a fully charged fireball, you can do your Kaswoosh into either back air, down air, you, you can pretty much freestyle as long as you know when your Kasush will hit your opponent up. Like even there you could have countered Kasushed me. You know. Just like that. Now after knowing all of this, just make sure to go in the lab, lab out some of these combos. You know you can get a hit confirm at 20, you can get a hit confirm at 80. As long as you know what you can do once you get a hit with this character, you can make the RPG elements of playing him just so much more fun. Oh, and one more thing, if you happen to land a falling up air, again, is best combo starter. Sometimes you can just mash down B and just hope RNG takes your hand to victory. Not like that. Thanks for watching guys, if you guys liked the video remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get the notification, and let me know what's your favorite combo with Hero, as mine of course, probably just up air and a fireball, like any combo into the fireball just looks so cool, it's the fact that it's a fire command man is so awesome. And yeah, thanks everyone for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the next video, peace.